Hello everybody, welcome back to more Dark Souls. Uh, last time we started doing a little bit of cleanup after we got the Lord Vessel. We revisited the Undead Asylum, uh, had uh, quite a few difficulties with the Valley of the Drakes, getting some stuff here. Uh, this time around we are going to finish up in the Valley of the Drakes. I want to get... Is Morpho still here? And I think we can get uh, the Painted World and show that area off. That's an area that you don't you don't have to do it. Like I was saying before, it's a completely optional area. Uh, it's a fun little area though. It's got some good items, some fun bosses, just some fun stuff to do. Might as well show it off. About that. Okay. So this guy, you can you can hit him, which will activate him. You can take the item, which will activate him. Um, I recommend go ahead and going ahead and getting the item because he's not that easy to kill. We're gonna try our hand at killing him, but I'm not promising anything. So I was wrong. It is this item. Oh, or you just activate him. You get close. Oh, shit. My bad. Alright, as you can see, he spews poison, which is also damages your weapons. Uh, now what I would like to do is get on the other side of him, because that'll make it. Does spew poison in whatever direction he's trying to hit you with it. That's my plan here. Dance. Alright. So this is not going to be a clean fight by any means, but. Destroy a straight sword, that is the weapon I wanted. And the Dragon Crest Shield. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, Dragon Crest Shield is really nice fire resistance, really nice physical. Well, 100% physical, so this will come in handy later. We're gonna want that. As for that shield, or not shield, that sword. Destroy a straight sword. So, this is a. As you can see, it's kind of a balanced weapon. It scales in faith, strength, and dex. Uh, I wanted this particular weapon because, one, I don't want to necessarily deal with uh, having to get the magic ember. I'll still probably show it off, but I would rather just do it like this. Uh, get this weapon. It's not too bad. Uh, it scales... You have to have 14 faith to be able to use it in the first place, so keep that in mind. That's why I've got mine at 15. I will be upping my faith more so it'll do more damage. Um, 
It's a good blessed weapon to have. We're definitely going to be needing that for a later area. So let's see. With that done, let's head back to Firelink Shrine. We'll, we'll head back to Anor Orlando and visit the... the we'll, we'll take a visit to the Painted World. We probably won't finish it this in this episode, but we can at least kind of get a good start on it. also the matter of the DLC that I'll be showing. I do, we don't want to do that just yet though. Even though it's it holds my favorite boss in the entire series. We're gonna wait to do that just a little bit. Um, there is one thing about the DLC that I will let you know now. I there's a couple bosses that I've never in the DLC. Um, I've just never really taken the time to learn them and do them. I will do my best to show them. I'm gonna let you know now, it's gonna be a rough go. Um, this game's been out long enough that I feel like I can say who it is. Uh, Manus, I have beaten legitimately once. And the other way I beat him was I cheesed him with arrows. So there is a way to cheese him with arrows, and I'll show that off. The other one... Calamite. I think I've also beaten once, but it was it was a rough go. And so Let's do this one. Yeah, it was a rough go. Uh, so normally when I do the DLC I do up until my favorite boss up and I just I stop. I don't bother because I don't want to bother <laughs> with the rest of it. Uh, I will be showing off all the DLC though, so you can have a. Oh, let me just double check on this. Uh, 51 out of 80. I want to repair that before we head out in the next area. Uh, yeah, I will be showcasing all the DLC. Uh, I'll do my best to not suck uh, as we explore it. It's been a long time since I've done the DLC, but we'll get there. Uh, let's go ahead and just repair a few things. Okay, now we can head out. So the Painted World is not hard to get to at all. Like I said, you need that peculiar doll, so you're going to want to go back to... the Undead, uh, Undead Asylum, sorry, uh, before you try to get into this area. I don't recommend going into the Painted World until at least you beat ONS, um, preferably until you're a little bit later on, because it does have some tough enemies in there. The boss in particular, now I will say there is a choice. You can fight the boss, or you can not fight the boss. I will not be fighting the boss. Uh, fighting the boss actually counts as a sin against you in this game. It's not recommended to fight the boss. If you're going for 100%, you will need to fight her because she does drop. Uh, she drops a weapon from if you can chop off her tail, as well as she drops a boss. Uh, I'm not going for 100%. I'm just walking you through the game and showing you what what's what. So I'm not going for 100%. I'm not going to be killing her. Uh, I don't like fighting her, not because she's difficult, because there's no reason to fight her. She's not aggressive. She doesn't attack you at all when you walk into the area. Uh, yeah, I don't like fighting her, so I'm not going to fight her. Uh, it doesn't feel right to me to fight her. Uh, because she didn't do anything. She doesn't deserve to be attacked. She's literally just chilling. She's hanging out. So 
title. guys are annoying. We're having a rough go. A rough go indeed. But yeah, um, so if you were wanting me to show off that, I'm, I'm sorry, but I won't be. It's the same with... Now with Sif, I have to do a little bit of research and determine if uh, he's not required it's not required to fight him at all. Uh, you can to get his greatsword if you want it. Um, and I do believe there is an extra scene with Sif if you do the DLC before fighting him, and I may try to show that off. My biggest thing is, again, I don't like fighting Sif. It's not because the boss is difficult, it's actually one of the most fun bosses in the game. Oh no, I fucked myself, didn't I? Uh oh, that's a problem. Well, I wonder if I can make that jump and not die. I think we're gonna try it. If I die, I die. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, that. Well, for the try. But yeah, it's the same with Sif. I don't like fighting Sif. At all. You know what? Uh, wait, can I get there from... I think I'm gonna have to walk the rafters again, unfortunately. No, I don't like fighting Sif. Uh, it makes me sad, to be completely honest. Because, again, he's not doing anything wrong. Actually, that argument's not can't really be said because most of the bosses in this game aren't doing anything wrong. They're just hanging out. Um, Sif is just he's a giant wolf and he doesn't deserve to be attacked. And he's a sweet boy and I don't want to hurt him. Yeah. Um, I, I, I I might for this just to show the extra scene in because if if you do do the DLC before fighting Sif, there there's a a really sweet little extra with him, and it's adorable. I, I really thought, though, that there were... I guess it's on the other side. Uh, I do need to go to the other side, then. Because there's that lever over there that can bring this back up. Ay, ay, ay. That's dumb. I really don't want to do that. But it'll be easier than walking the rafters again, because you're just going to have to watch me be terrible. Other than that, we'll be obviously showcasing all the late game areas. I haven't quite decided the order I want to do them in yet. I... I'm not going to lie, the late game areas are probably my least favorite part of Dark Souls. I adore the first half of this game. I just adore this game in general. Um, the late game areas, though, I find... A bit more annoying than the rest of the game. <sighs> the Duke's Archives isn't bad. Uh, Chamber of the Princess, I believe, is the one we didn't go to. The Duke's Archives isn't bad. Uh, the boss there is pretty challenging. Um, I like him a lot. He's tough, but he's not necessarily like too difficult to fight. I don't like the catacombs in the slightest. Uh, the boss there, again, really, really cool. I just hate navigating the catacombs because of, one, it's dark, so it's hard to see. Two, the enemies respawn unless you have a holy weapon, which I get it, but a little bit annoying. Uh, and it's, it's kind of just a bitch to get through, to be honest. Yeah. The demon ruins might be my least favorite of all of them, uh, mainly because I I also just don't like the boss. Uh, we'll talk about that more when we get there. 
that is my least favorite boss in this game. And it's... It's the weakest boss of this game, in my opinion. Well, both in HP and in my opinion. It's just, in my opinion, it's just not very well designed, but we'll talk about that when we get there. New Londo Ruins is another kind of like the Catacombs, which it has a gimmick to it, which is a bit annoying to deal with. It's not necessarily... It's actually a little bit more difficult. The boss there can be very challenging. I do like the boss there, though, but it takes a while to get through. It definitely takes a while to get through, but you know, Hondo Ruins, and you have to have a weapon that can hit the ghosts, order a bunch of transient curses, or you just have to run it, which is frustrating. So, yeah, it sounds like I'm kind of bitching and moaning right now, but I, I'm not... Sorry. But yeah, the late game areas in this in, in this game I'm not 100% the biggest fan of. Not that I don't like them, I still love this game. They're just, they're not as strong, I mean, they're not as memorable, in my opinion, as the early game areas. And that might be because... Uh, okay. How come I can't backstab from a jump? That seems dumb. Sometimes, sometimes this game, man. Come on, come on, come on. All right, you just get up to the painting, and if you have the peculiar doll and you hit examine, you'll get thrust into a cutscene. There's a fair warning, and if I'm remembering this correctly, you can't leave this area once you get here, so you have to finish the level. Even if you have the Lord Vessel, you cannot warp out of here until you're done. So, be advised. Um, again, the area's not that bad, and you don't have to fight the boss. It makes it a little bit more manageable. But I do like this area, though. It's really pretty. Now let me confirm, because um, now that we have the... Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I was right. Yeah, you cannot warp from this area, because this is uh, like a different dimension, I guess. So you're not able to leave once you get here. Which isn't that big of a deal. It's not that difficult of an area, sorry. So you'll be okay. Alright, uh, let me showcase. I don't, I, I do believe that this door is barred from this side, so you have to go up those stairs, but let me double check. Yes, it does not open from this side, so you do have to go this way. Now, bear with me a little bit, it's been a while since I've done this area. Or just this game in general, but this particular area I don't visit very often, so I, I think I've only done it maybe three times in the amount of times I've played this game. But, uh, I do remember enough of what I'm supposed to do to get you through it. Okay. Let's see. Ah, yep, there you are. Thought there was something coming. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, you can see in the distance, those are some interesting enemies. They're like, they remind me of harpies from Greek mythology. Uh, I really like their design though, they're really cool looking, and they're everywhere here, so just be warned. They're not exactly easy to kill either. I'm the soul of a proud knight. Now I will say, oh yeah, when you grab that, that's it. When you can grab that item, they come in uh, they come and attack you. Like I said, they're not they're not hard, they stagger pretty easily. So you can take them down fairly easily. Um, 
hopefully hit me. I'm just shocked, actually. There he is. I was waiting for this one to come back up. They're a little bit... They have a little bit of the same kind of, like, style of a mimic in terms of their attack patterns. They jump around a lot and try to kick you. But they're way cooler than a mimic. Alright, so if you go down here, there's a dried finger. We will go over that in a minute. First things first, though. There's gonna be an enemy coming up. Well, that guy. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me gather my thoughts. Yeah, these motherfuckers. Oh, these guys are obnoxious. Now, when you kill them, back off. Because as you see, they'll explode. And uh, try to toxic you. Um, and I had actually forgotten about the toxic part. I thought they just exploded, so my bad. Um, have some blooming purple moss clumps, just in case. I know it's a little late now that we're already here, but. Careful when you come down the stairs if you're going this route, because there is this guy. Take him out. There's another soul of Crown Knight. Okay. Hmm. That's a that's a boss that's gonna be annoying. Now I don't know if if you play Demon Souls, and if you look at that little jumble of mess down there. That should look a little familiar to you. That boss... Um, which, speaking of... Let me see if I've got any... Yes, I do. Fire is your friend for that boss, I'll tell you now. Right. While we're thinking about it, let's take a look at that dried finger. Because we have a little bit of time. There it is. Dried finger with multiple knuckles. Uh, shriveled but still slightly warm. With many knuckles, surely it cannot belong to anything human. Now I'm going to have to look up what that exactly does. I do think that you can trade it with the crow at the Undead Asylum for something. I don't quite remember. Oh yeah. The big boy albino rats. Blocking a soul of a brave warrior. These guys are blind, if you haven't noticed yet. Or deaf. One of the two. I believe they're blind. If you look at their eyes... Yeah, they're completely white. So they can't see you. They rely on sound. So... Neat little addition. In my opinion. Okay. We'll go a little bit more. And then we will... Uh, Call it. We'll go a little bit more, we'll call it, and then we'll come back and work on it. Well. Now, this is an area with a. Oh. These guys like to climb up, and oh boy, this is not going to be good. Right, nice. Lovely. Alright. See if I can poke with this. Brilliant idea, actually. Oh boy. The spear makes it a lot easier to, to dodge him. There we go. Ah, okay. Spear for the win. Let's use this bad boy. Okay. Oh, it is like, oh yeah. Um, these guys like to ambush you in this area by climbing up on stuff, uh, like you saw. So, interesting. Uh, let me see here. There's a way over there. I might just have to jump it, actually. That guy's in the way, though. Uh, I think I can actually jump from here. Let's, let's test it. There we go. Alright, a soul of a brave warrior. Here 
we go. Get you out of there. Alright, I think that about Remove parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos, and the egg symbolizes this selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under circumstances. Special circumstances. So, where we saw Quillag's sister, there was that egg thing guy. And right before Quillag were two more egg thing guys. That if you... They can... Basically, if you get hit by a certain attack, or if one of the like, leeches gets on you, they can make your head, like, they can put a parasite on your head, basically, and you just have this thing, and I think it sucks, uh, sucks your life if you're unable to remove it. Honestly, it's really annoying, so, yeah, don't get that, but if you do, there's a parasitic egg thingy here to remove it. Um, I think this is a good spot to cut it for now. Um, I will actually be right back to finish up this area. It's just easier for me to post these if I cut it like this. So, yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care.